Hey everybody, what's up? I'm number seven, and welcome back to Luftrousers. I made a video titled, How to Destroy a Battleship in 37 Easy Steps, and that was just me trying to be clever and making a joke. Well, I looked, and people had came to that video looking for actual information on how to sink a battleship, and instead they got me being a tool on the internet, so I apologize for that. I didn't mean to make it clickbait, I was just trying to be clever, coming up with a title that was interesting and funny, because battleships are a notorious pain in the ass. So, in order to apologize for that, I'm going to make this video, which is actually how I personally deal with battleships. I have two ships I'm going to try out, or showcase, the Smalls and the Tube Browser. Now both of these use the armored body and the boost engine. The Smalls uses a cannon, and the Tube Browser uses a laser. I prefer Smalls myself, because the cannon is my one of my favorite weapons, but the laser is my second favorite weapon. And we'll get into that later, but right now let's just jump in and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's the smalls. The first thing you want to do is get a battleship. You have to have a certain amount of points. I don't know what the threshold is. It might be time and points measured together in some metric. But just go around killing things, have fun. The cannon is versatile. It's close up, but if you get close up, it's good at anti-air because you hit and it makes all those little particles splash off, which is great for when the airplanes try and pump up. And it one-shots those little boats fairly easily. This will take out a battleship in three hits. All you need is three cannon hits. I think they have to be direct hits, but that'll take care of any kind of battleship you might have. When they cluster up like this, you want to bug out thanks to your boost engines fly in a kind of erratic pattern, get in a better position, and give them a little boot. Now the great thing about the smalls is that it's tough. It's very forgiving. You can take several hits and you'll be fine. You can fly through. As long as you don't fly straight into the battleship's fire, you can cross through it a little bit and you'll be fine. Now to take out a battleship, what you want to do is hit and run sort of. Go in low, bait him into attacking, turn around, hit him once, and fly away. There I drop a bomb on him, and then I fly away. Alright, he's, he's down, so I'll clear out the area a bit here. And we'll, we're going to fly by this battleship, bait him into firing, and then return fire back and forth sort of zigzag this this ship is good at uh, reversing direction you can just whip around and then boost and you'll stop and there you go you just gotta keep moving and keep flying erratically that's how you dodge the majority of their projectiles now with an airship it's the same thing it's just that it's you're upside down you know you fly through their stuff, try not to avoid their, or try to avoid their fire, try to avoid their missiles, those missiles hurt pretty bad. I've noticed that the airship seems to drop lower whenever it takes damage. Those missiles are really easy to avoid, and you can shoot them like that. So your main concern here is just the airship. It seems that other stuff doesn't spawn as much. Right there's the Smalls armor, saving my ass again. It seems other aircraft and things like that don't spawn as much when he has 20 million missiles like that. So the missiles don't help him all that much as long as you've got something that you can maneuver with. And with the smalls, you want to let gravity do your maneuvering for you. Drop if you need to and then boost up a little bit to avoid things. I think this ace right here gets me. Yeah. Stuck his nose in me and just poured lead down my throat. But that's how you use the smalls. You just cross him and then you, you just him. You cross the battleships, aim down, shoot, and then continue on your merry way. Whenever he shoots at you, boost away, get into a position, and return fire. Now we're going to go with the tube browser, the laser. Now the laser has complications. It has great damage, but it takes two ticks to take out one of those little ships, little airplanes. So you have to sweep back and forth across an airplane, which isn't a problem. Like right here, I, 
I don't have any issue at all. And when they clump up, it's fine. The beam, I believe, passes right through enemies. So it doesn't matter how thick they are. All you gotta do is hit them with two ticks, and the ticks are very rapid. The problem with the laser is that as you fire, you're not regenerating. With the cannon, you can shoot, and then you have a four second cooldown before you can shoot again. I think it's four seconds. And while you're doing that, you're re you're regenerating. With the laser, not so much. So you have to attack, disengage, attack, disengage a, a lot more than with the cannon. The advantage is it has incredible range and really good damage. All right, here's another battleship. It's party time. So I'm gonna fly through his fire and then shoot him, get out of there. I kind of got stuck right there, but thankfully the armor is just top notch. And once I noticed the rounds getting close to me, I bugged out. Kind of got stuck in there again, but you do damage as melee. It damages you, it damages the enemy. And again, this armor is what's really saving my ass. The armor is letting me take hits, the engine is helping me avoid hits. If I can. Then I whip around, use my momentum, and just pour white hot death into him. If you can line up the shots, the laser is amazing. When it's good, it's great. And when it's bad, it's still okay. Here we are taking out another battleship. And one thing I like to do is use my momentum and don't turn as much. Unless you absolutely have to. Sort of set up an attack angle and then go with it. Oh, look, we got another airship. I love that armor. That armor has saved my ass so many times. So now we're just going to go up high, get close to it eat all this fire, and return the favor. Thanks to the range of this thing, you don't have to get up close to it like you do with a cannon, so you can get off screen and still fire. Again, unfortunately, you're not healing as you're, as you're firing, so you're going to have to peel off several times to heal up. And again, I'm using gravity here, just sort of duck and then boost over those missiles. And then I'm using my armor right here, because to hell with it. One problem with the armor is that you tend to get kind of cocky. You tend to think you're invincible, and you're not. You're just way tougher than normal. And then another thing, when you use the armor, and you go back to using a non-armor body, um, you die in one hit, it feels like. So be careful with that. Understand the psychology of using it, I guess. I think I sank it. Yep, she hit the deck. Great. Now, if memory serves, another airship comes and I try and take it out. Maybe not. Yep, there's another airship. I think I was at the point now where I was saying, ah, to hell with it. Let's go. And so we went. I've not been able to take out two airships, I don't think. And what gets me in this one is me getting cocky. Here I am disengaging, trying to heal up. He's firing every missile that ever was at me. And then I tried to dodge, and went right into him, and that was it. But that's how you take out airships, that's how you take out battleships. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this was informative, as opposed to my last video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode.